Hey guys, in this session, we're going to be looking at increasing and decreasing functions. Um, basically, to do this, what we want to be looking at is the gradient of this function. And then if the gradient is positive, then it's going to be increasing. And if the gradient is negative, then it is going to be decreasing. So what we've got is, um, and the best way to do this is to kind of like grab a ruler if you do have one. Um, I'm just going to grab mine and let's see if this still is going to work. Cool. So taking that first linear equation that's in the positive there, um, and it's and as you can see, the line is actually going up. So the gradient is going to be always positive, which means, um, because as you can see, it's kind of like going in this direction. So it's going up, and because it's going up, we can actually call this uh, an increasing function. Now then looking at the straight line that's actually pointed down, because the gradient is actually going down, we are going to call this a decreasing function. So that's to deal with um, the two straight lines. Next, we go into quadratic. So to go into quadratic, there's a couple of things that we need to remember first. We've got two turning points that are happening. Um, so in this case, we've got the minimum point, while with the negative parabola, we get a maximum point. And remember that for both cases, you're going to get gradient is equal to zero. So f dash of x, whatever that is, when you differentiate it, should equal to zero. As for um, to figure out um, which when is it increasing and when is it decreasing, we're going to take the ruler again. And as you can see, from on the left-hand side of the parabola, so that is everything that is highlighted yellow, you can see if I put the ruler, it's actually pointing down. All right. So basically the in the parabola's case, there's actually two things that's happening. It's decreasing uh, when x is um, less than whatever that minimum value is. So minimum, I should really say, how do I call it? X is less than the turning point value of x. So let's say, it's really a bad idea that I'm doing here, but like let's say this point here is like 8, for example then we kind of need to say that it's decreasing when x is actually less than 8. All right, now we're going to go to the other side of 8, and we can see that when we go to the other side of 8, the ruler is actually pointing up. Uh, so that means everything on this side is now increasing. So in this case, what we're going to say is um, when x is greater than 8, it is actually, uh, the function is actually increasing. And when it's before 8, the function is decreasing. So once again, if you look at that quadratic um, down below, we've got a negative parabola and we've got a turning point. Uh, just for sake, let's actually put this point here as, um, I don't know, 6 maybe? Yeah, let's do 6. So basically what's happening is if we're going to take our ruler again, we're going to put it before 6, we can see that the ruler is always pointing up. And because it's always pointing up, we're going to say that it is increasing when x is less than 6. And then if we take the ruler again and we point it to after 6, you can kind of see the ruler is pointing down. So therefore, it is going to be decreasing after 6. So we can write this as decreasing function for x greater than 6. So that's something to remember. So when, when we're doing like um, straight lines, you're always going to get increasing or decreasing. When you come to parabola, wow, where did I go? There we go. When you come to parabola, you've got decreasing and then it's slowly increasing. So we're going to get to the cubics next. And with the cubics, we've got three, two important points that we need to remember. So this is when the gradient is equal to zero. So we've actually got a local max point, and we've got a local min point. And in this case, when it's um, a negative cubic, we're going to get local max and local min once again. However, there is something a little bit extra here. All right. So if we think about it like this, um, in this case, when we take the ruler to the top, um, the left side of the cubic, you can kind of see it's actually 
positive, it's increasing. Then between the two maximum and minimum, the gradient is actually decreasing, or the function is decreasing. Then if we look at after the local minimum, it's the gradient is actually positive. So what we have here is it's actually increasing between here and here, and also after this point. While it's decreasing from the local max to the local minimum. So the way we're going to write this up is something like this. So when is the function increasing? We know the function is increasing. I, I should give some points. Uh, let's actually choose some points here. We're going to choose this as 5 and maybe choose this as um, 7. So we can see that the function is increasing when x is less than 5 and also when x is greater than 7. As for the function, when, it's, when is it decreasing? It's decreasing when x is between 5 and 7. So just to clarify that, uh, we've got increasing in green, decreasing in yellow, and you can kind of see those um, zones that are popping up. Uh, next thing is doing the same for the negative cubic. So you can see that you've got the local minimum and local max. So before the local minimum, the ruler is pointing down. That means it's decreasing. Then between the two turning points, it's increasing because it's positive. And then it's decreasing again after the local max. So just to clarify, it's decreasing here and after here. And it's increasing between these two zones here. And I'm going to give them some numbers here. So let's call this, uh, let's, not put, uh, seven, let's make it 8 and 10. No, 8 and 12. There we go, 8 and 12. So if that's the case, then what we've got here is we've got increasing. So it's increasing between 8 and 12. So 8 less than x less than 12. And it's decreasing in two areas. And our first area is when it's x less than 8, and then when x is greater than 12. So increasing and decreasing. There we go. Let's just get some colors in there. All right. So what do we got? Anything else? Now guys, this is really useful skill to have the increasing and decreasing functions, partially because it's, um, if you think back to level one, or I know in level one, back in the days, you used to do questions like this, where you have x squared plus 7x plus 12, when is it less than zero and stuff like that. And you, sometimes you, we never really had a context for this, but that's because, um, and I will show you guys some of these questions in the next video, um, how this thing that you used to do back in level one comes very handy uh, to do these types of questions here because ultimately what you're trying to kind of say here is this and that's the last thing I want to finish off with is if f of x is greater than zero then it's known as increasing function if f of x is less than zero or a negative number it is known as a decreasing function so pretty much that is all you need to know. Um, and so I'm going to say this part right here in the pink box is pretty important um, for you guys to try and um, work out increasing and decreasing functions. Also, it comes quite handily at level three uh, when you start doing some of these, um, some of the more uh, trickier questions, but it is definitely useful. Cool, guys. Uh, that's basically it for this short little video. Um, as always, uh, thank you for watching. And... Um, you know, the usual stuff, like and share the video and subscribe to keep up with the latest content. Thanks again, guys.